Hey folks, it's uh, Ben Capozzi. It's Wednesday, January 29th, 2020. And uh, I just wanted to take a few moments to show you around uh, the new area that I've moved um, our three main flocks into. Um, and uh, they are super happy. We moved them uh, yesterday morning. Um, we had everybody, all three flocks moved by 10. We started around nine, um, got their water and everything set up. But um, we moved them from where they were in uh, front of uh, one of the old houses here on the farm to um, this patch of four old apple trees that were part of the original orchard that was planted by um, my wife's uh, grandfather who passed in the uh, late 90s. And um, the trees have kind of, some of them have fallen over, um, but they're still alive. Um, some of them have split and they're still alive. But um, in general, it's a very cool area for the birds to be in. Um, I always thought of it as like a playground for them and I've been really happy to see that I feel like that's how they like it too. Um, but as I start to walk around, I'll flip the camera around and I'll show you. But like just 24 hours and they've already like knocked down a ton of stuff. Like the ground everywhere looks very well um, traveled on. I uh, Right now I'm kind of propped or I'm hunched underneath one of the fallen trees. So uh, let me flip the camera around and um, we'll do a little bit of an orientation and I'll show you what's what. So here I am underneath one of the uh, apple trees. It's got a lot of dead stuff in it. I mean, I was in here just plucking stuff off quite easily. Um, and I'll come in uh, with some pruning tools and clean this up now that the teams are making it much more accessible and much easier for me to walk around. But I mean, if you look in here at the sort of the duff layer, like, the grass has already been trimmed and they've beaten down the wild geranium a little bit and they've already just started turning over the forest, uh, the leaf litter under here looking for bugs and worms and wild strawberry looks like maybe and some other stuff. So they are having a great time. Uh, they're also making it much easier for me to see what goes and what stays. This looks like maybe a volunteer pecan. I'm not quite sure. Um, there's a couple uh, privet bushes in here that I will probably take out. Um, there's a, a honey locust in here, a native honey locust, certainly not a domesticated thornless one. I'll probably take that out. But um, there's, the, uh, there's another apple tree right there. Again, it's fallen over, it's split, but all of this is actually very much alive. If you look at the, um, the tips of the branches in there, they're, they've got fruiting spurs on them and they're ready, but Look how happy everybody is. I mean, they've, they've got a little fort to hang out in. I love it. My vision is that, you know, originally I was going to design um, pasture systems with rich pasture for them all to rotate through. And after kind of being here for a little, uh, almost two years and living in this landscape and thinking about things and seeing it and experiencing it and paying attention to it, um, it's kind of already taught me that the way that I want to proceed is setting up more areas like this. Um, I'm planting way more trees and shrubs and bushes than I originally thought that I would, in addition to, you know, pasture improving crops like uh, legumes, uh, clovers, vetch, uh, field turnip, uh, radish, things like that. But anyhow, I mean, they're loving it. They're making little pleasant sounds. They're all happy. Hey, Ajax. Right now I'm in with the uh, American group, uh, the English speaking birds. So Ajax there is a whiting, there's some leg bars there, some buff brahmas. Everything is enclosed inside of Premier One electric fencing. <laughs> hey Java, my best boy. He's the best one. Hey guy, how you doing? I'm sorry I don't have an apple. I wish I had a treat. You wanna come say hey? We're already saying hey. Alright, you'll be safe, you. Um little speckled Sussex, Chanticleers, Jersey Giant Blacks. The Black Jersey Giants. But um, it's also nice to have them start to clear all this out and I can see where uh, I'm probably going to put some small oak trees, some hazelnut trees in here. Um, there's already a bunch of uh, wild farm raspberry that has taken over all of this area and actually having the kids run through it has cleared it out. Uh, last year the Americans were on this side and no one had ever been in here. I put the American flock in here because they're our heaviest birds in general. Um, they do a, uh, a really good job of just knocking stuff down. They're our heaviest 
chickens. Now, of course, our geese are truly our heaviest birds. Uh, I don't think they would be well suited in an area like this. Um, it's just a little too prickly. But in terms of just an open field, if you need them to knock stuff down, absolutely. Look at all these little characters. Hi, ladies. <laughs> hey, dude, don't be rude. It uh, reminds me of that famous photo of um, all those uh, uh, construction workers in that black and white photo hanging out on a, a girder on an I-beam above the New York City skyline. These ladies are just chilling out, preening their feathers. Uh, they've got dust baths in here that have traveled with them. And you can see the crazy weather here. This raspberry is already starting to leaf out. There's, um, there's some elderberry uh, in this patch as well um, that I will encourage um, that started to leaf out. Uh, for the next two weeks, like into mid-February, we don't have really any consistently freezing temperatures. Like sometimes at like 6 or 7 a.m. it'll be like 28, 29, 30 degrees, but then it's going to be like 50 during the day. So this weather is crazy. I have a feeling that maybe late February or March are going to be weirdly brutal. Um, right now over on this side, I've got the uh, the continental breeds, the mostly French and German breeds hanging out in here. Um, it's already been beat down quite a bit just by virtue of having the American flock in here last year. Um, it probably needs a little bit of a longer resting period, but I had to get the birds out of where they were. And again, there's miner's lettuce here, wild geranium, uh, wild turnip, or just cover crop turnip that's naturalized in this area. Um, I need to clean up this tree a bit but again this even though this this tree it only exists as a fallen tree there's the main root and it's just there is no more tree up there my father-in-law hit it with his um one of his pieces of tractor equipment and just it, uh, felled it but uh it's still alive it's still going strong and it's doing all these crazy things like look at that, that hollowed out part there but there's still skin there's still cambium active delivering nutrients this branch is very much alive I've been thinking about coming in here and actually cleaning up some of these, like taking out uh, branches every so often to free up like enough uprights that I could maybe start to weave these together as like a like a Belgian fence or something, clean them up a bit. Um, I mean, because it's, it's too thick of a tangle, but it's fascinating to see all of these different branches all striving to be the new central leader uh, on a tree that's collapsed or been knocked over. I've got to clear out some of this honeysuckle. I'd like to trim this uh, autumnberry bush back here a little bit. This bush was so popular last uh, late last summer. Oh my gosh, the chickens were like doing that amazing thing. It's quite adorable where they hop up, but they were hopping up and like plucking those delicious red berries off of uh, the lowest branches, just going to town. But I need to come in here and clean some of this out, obviously. Um, but I think they're really happy. I love this. This this makes me happy. This is a very rich environment for them. There's plenty for them to do. I need to come down and refill bowls and water, it looks like. <laughs> Francois, what are you doing? Are you just soaking up the sun? Hey, you beautiful boy. Hey, Boudreaux. Hi, everybody. It's Orcus. Wheezy. No, don't you geese stick your heads in here. <clears throat> I had a goose. Last March, I lost a goose that got tangled up in the netting. Um, I left for about an hour and I came back and I just found her like on her last, last gasps. That was really heartbreaking. But um, anyhow, who's up there? Is that Flitz or Anika? That's Anika burrowing in the uh, <laughs> hay bale. Um, so yeah, so there's two groups. Here's the third group, the Mediterraneans. Hi, everybody. Now these kids, I feel bad for their enrichment because this is the same paddock they had last year. Um, but <clears throat> they've still got work to do here. There's still plenty of stuff to snack on and hopefully it won't take me five weeks before I move them again. I'll move these guys here in hopefully two to three weeks. Some of the girls are staying in the house. Get a nice little sauna. Hi, George Patton. How you doing? What do you think? Life is good? Are you concerned about stuff? Huh? Looks like you're in charge. All right, you're doing nice, nice work. Um, I put some protection around trees that I've added in here. They've got a new uh, Asian persimmon that I've set up in here. Probably gonna put another hazelnut back here, maybe a, a dwarf chinkapin oak or something, some kind of nut tree in here. 
um, to get that going. And of course I can add any kind of scrubs. I've got a lot of uh, viburnums and service berry to add. Yeah, this tree, this whole left half of it was pretty much dead. So I wound up sawing it off with a handsaw last year. And we dragged the parts of it over here. It was also overrun with uh, honeysuckle. Um, I killed as much of that as I could, but that's something you just gotta be like kind of ever vigilant with. But again, look at them. They're just digging away, turning over the soil, soaking up sun. I'm gonna be quiet for a minute. You can just hear, I don't know, the sounds of their industry. All right, so it's a beautiful, beautiful January day. February's right around the corner. I would love to stay out here and share more of how amazing all these kids are and the work that they're doing, but I've got to go and get back to work on the Bantam house. We put the roof on yesterday, finally. Got the rafters up, got the roofing up, and now I've got like the mother of all patch jobs to fix all the errors that I made in the construction. So I need to turn to that because I really want to get the Bantams into a new location, their new house, so they can start enjoying some of the awesomeness that these birds enjoy. So I'm gonna top off everybody's feed here and then get to work on that. If you have any questions, <clears throat> excuse me, you can post them in the comment section below. I'm also very active on uh, Facebook and Instagram at Broad Shoulders Farm. And uh, I hope you're having as awesome a day as I think these kids are. I think everybody's happy. As I bring them some more. Hey, look at that. Water's good. They still got a little bit of feed, but what they really want is some more uh, sunflowers, wheat, and whole corn. So I've got my marching orders. I'll catch you guys later. Take care. Bye bye. <laughs>